Hey guys, good morning. <laughs> good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I always say it so. I always say it so staggered. Okay. <clears throat> good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, that was good. That was good. Okay. Hey guys, <laughs> good morning everyone and welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new, before we get started make sure you go subscribe and leave a big thumb, ugh, and leave a big thumbs up, now without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay so as you guys can probably see by the title, this beautiful morning, I will be attempting to make a Jamaican breakfast. Um, I don't know how to cook. I don't know how to do this. I don't know that. If y'all want some ramen, y'all can get some ramen. Um, nah, I really don't know how to cook. Now that I'm thinking about it, I really don't know how to cook. Um, but today I will be making porridge and fried dumpling. Um, both of these dishes are my favorite foods. Um, you can ask anybody. Like, I can eat porridge for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. I don't, it's everything. Like, I just love porridge, but I don't know how to make it. Um, my grandma has tried to teach me several times, and it has not worked once. So I thought I'd come on here again. I said come on here. I thought I'd come on here and attempt to make it once again, and hopefully... It's good because I ain't eat since I woke up and I'm kind of starving. So I will be following t two recipes I found on YouTube and I also called my grandmother just to like, you know, hear how she would make it. But I'm also going to just, you know, incorporate everything that I've heard to make them. But yeah, first I'm actually going to start off by making the um, fried dumpling just because when you make porridge you it needs constant attention like you cannot look take your eyes off of it for one second or else it's going to get lumpy and it's going to be nasty and who likes lumpy porridge no one so i will start with the fried dumpling i feel as though this one might be really easy because fried dumpling isn't too hard you really just mix 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 drop mix 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 drop you know so i feel as though this one might be really quick easy and the porridge is where it gets harder. So, I have some high hopes with the dumplings. So, if the porridge doesn't work out, I have something to eat. So, okay, that's good. All right, let's get into it, y'all. So, we're gonna wash these hands and then we're gonna get into all of this. So, for the fried dumpling, I am following a recipe I found on YouTube, and I'll just link everything in the description box below, just in case you guys were wondering which ones, which exact ones that I use, which were the exact ones that I, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, the recipe calls for two cups of flour, so I'm gonna add that. Um, so I want, I didn't even see how much dumpling it makes, but I hope it makes it enough because how am I gonna do this? Watches. Okay. Ugh. Okay, that was uh, all right. Boom, and I'm gonna do like a little. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Boom. Two cups. I guess. Oh, my hands about to get dirty. It's, it's about to get dirty, y'all. It's about to get real dirty. It's about to get real dirty. So let me just. All right, so after that, I gotta keep this open because I can't be touching my phone. So I've gotten the flour in here. It doesn't look like a lot, but hey. Um, so flour, so then it says put one tablespoon of butter and um, 
knead it to like a crummy consistency. Oh wait, that's my butter. So I'm gonna do that. I never, I actually never watched my grandmother make fried dumplings, so I wouldn't know how she made it. So I'm gonna just scoop this. So like I said, I'm just gonna follow this recipe and then okay, cool. Um, also, if you guys don't know me, I am Jamaican, so I feel this is kind of a disgrace to my people for me not knowing how to make porridge and fried dumpling, but look, I'm taking, I take the time out to learn, and that's all that matters, and now let's just hope, ugh. let's just hope it comes out good, so after that, ugh. I hate mess, y'all. I hate mess. But now we're gonna knead the, the flour and the butter into a crumb, a crummy consistency. So I'll come back when this is done. Now that I did that, um, the recipe says <laughs> to put in the rest of the in dry ingredients. So I'm just gonna wash off my hand and then do that because I don't wanna be like, not necessarily cross contaminating, but. That's too much in my head. Guys, so one teaspoon table salt. So I got my salt right here. One teaspoon. You gotta be real. Um I'm scared. I'm scared. Come on. Okay, alright. That's a little too much. Alright. Boom. One teaspoon salt. I have to wash this again because we need now one tablespoon of baking powder. And then Where's the sugar from? One, no. <laughs> One tablespoon of bacon. Gosh. Oh my gosh. See, look, I can't be in the kitchen. Um, this. One tablespoon of this. Well, what's that thing that people be eating? Is it bacon powder or is it is it corn? Cornstarch, I think it is. Nasty if you do that. So, boom. One tablespoon baking powder, and then it says one eighth cup of water. I mean, no, one eighth cup of sugar. So, do I have that? Hey Siri, how many tablespoons is one eight? What would you like to eat? I don't know. Would you like to convert it to tablespoons? I don't know. What? This is not making no sense. Oh, cup. <laughs> hey Siri. Hey Siri. Convert one eighth cups into tablespoons. All right, two. Oh, two tablespoons. Before anyone says anything, everything was washed before being touched. Everything, yeah, 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 bye. It's one eighth cup of sugar. So, I've been eating. Um, and I know some of you might be like, oh, sugar. But, I think my aunt, my aunt actually makes um, her fried dumpling with sugar. And y'all, it's so, can y'all see? And it's actually really good, so. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna give you guys a little close up because we're going to start to knead the dough and make the actual dumplings. Um, I did put my oil on just so it can begin to heat up just because I didn't wanna do it too late and then have to wait and then this and that. So I thought I'd just kill two birds with one stone. But um, as we left off, I added all the, dry, the rest of the dry ingredients and um, the butter, you know, whatever, whatever. So now I'm just gonna mix it all up one more time. Get like all those, you know, mix it all up. And then, you know, you make it like a little hole in the middle, right? And then you're just, well, the recipe said pour half the water. So that's a little bit of half, I think, hold on. 
All right, not too much, cause I don't want to. So now I'm just finna. Finna. Ugh. Uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm just finna mix it out up to the best of my ability. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Um. I think I did a pretty good job. This is how it look. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this, but my hands mad dirty, but yeah, I think I did a pretty good job. I think, I don't know. Look at my hand, this is so disgusting. Let me stop. But right now, um, I'm going to lay out some flour on the counter and continue to knead it and then make the dumpling. Then no, then. Yeah, that's good. Okay. No. <laughs> Wait me. And if you feel like say can, like say tight, like you can't make it, then you would have um like put your hand in the water and, and put and just rub it again. But it looks to me good. It's not shelling a part, right? It's not what? It's not shelling a part. It stays together. Yeah, it does. Right. So make them. Now you need to do no make them in small ones. Okay, okay. Should I just make them into balls or should I do like this thing? That's how we make them. Yes, crap. You can make them a little, you know, if you puff them up so you know, grandson, you can make it flat. Like, like, very fry, very fry. Yeah, like that. Like yeah. this? Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. All right, Gigi. Love you, son. Love you too. Talk to you later. You know, make your porridge again. No, not yet. <laughs> Alright. Okay guys, so I got the okay from my grandma. My dumpling was looking great. So right now, hold on. Ugh, I'm over here. Whew. I'm over here making my little dumpling or whatever. You know, look at that. Got the oil off. Oh, it's real hot. So gotta be careful, buddy. Oof. So I'm doing a really good job. I'm proud of myself now. I was feeling a little discouraged because I was like, dang, I ain't even making my nothing real good. But you know, if grandma says good, then it's good. So I'm gonna need these up. Okay guys, so I just had like a 50 minute fight with my tripod because it was not coming off my camera. So that just had like a huge, a huge delay in this video, but we still, gonna get it going. So right now I've been, ha I had my oil heating up. So I'm about to just check if it's um, ready. It should be, I hope so. I'm gonna get like one of the spoons and dip it in. So let's see, hold on. Hold on, why are you not even? Yo, it has just been warm up for like a whole hour. And it's just not even ready. Hold on. Something gotta give, something gotta give, something gotta give. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Anyways, as you guys can see, it's not ready. So when it's warmed up and ready, I'll be back to start. So our oil has heated up, it's all ready. So I'm actually gonna just turn it down a little more because I don't want it to cook too quick and the inside won't get cooked. Um, and the outside will just be cooked. So I'm finna use these tongs. I'm not finna play with nobody. I'm scared. Oh, y'all, it's happening. All right, let me move quick, let me move quick. Got three more left. Boom. 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 Oh my gosh, it's actually cooking. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm gonna let these cook and I'll get back to you with an update. We have just finished frying <laughs> them. They look so terrible. I don't even want y'all to look at them. But this is the finished product. I mean, some of them are good, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll do a taste test real soon. But right now, I'm about to start the porridge. And hey guys, so now that we have finally finished the fried dumpling, we are going to get into the porridge now. Um, so I watched the video already. I basically got a gist of how I should go about it. 
So first, I'm just gonna put two cups of water on to boil. So that could be like, you know, ready. So now, I'm just grabbing a bowl, y'all. All right, she said one cup of cornmeal, cornmeal. But I don't know, should I do one cup? Get it, yeah. So I'm putting it into the bowl. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add a little bit of water into this bowl and mix it together. And then when the water boils up, I will proceed to pour and mix. It's, I'll get back to you guys when I get to that step. So right now I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in here and I'm gonna mix it up. So, so I finished mixing it. Um, I stopped putting the water in and I added some milk because I didn't want it to be um, I want to see it have it more creamy and not taste like straight water. So I did put in um, some milk. This, she did say that in a video. I don't know why I was putting that water. But now it's supposed to be like this. So it's like, you know, easy, runny, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to pour it in here. But as I pour it, I'm going to stir it. Because the thing with porridge is, the thing with porridge is you can't take your eyes off it. So like as soon as you like, Did y'all not see that just pop up all over the stove? See this one, exactly why. But when it comes to making porridge, you have to legit give it like your constant attention. Like you gotta stir this hole into the end of the earth. Like, but, um, let me turn this heat down. Look, <gasps> y'all, are you serious? Look at what it did. Yo. I can't. I can't. Turn this down. Alright, y'all. Yeah, but I'm going to stir this um, for a couple of minutes. And then I'll be back. Okay, guys. So, I was mixing it and, you know, all of that. So, I just placed the top on it so that it can cook. Because, like the video said, put the cap on it and then let it cook. That's a cap. Put the top on it, let it cook for 25. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> but cook, dip, cook, cook, let it cook for 25 to 30 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna let it do. Um, so, yeah. I'll be back in 25 to 30 minutes to see how it's coming along. And then we'll begin to add cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, etc. So, so, I have, you know, it's been 25 to 30 minutes and I'm actually really excited because it looks so good. So, after the video, she said like, it needs to be smooth. Look how it was, look how it was running down, y'all. It's running down to it. <laughs> I'm really excited. And I tasted one of the dumplings and that jump actually was so good. Like, <laughs> So I'm really excited. So now that this is done um, cooking, I tasted it and it's smooth. Everything's real good. I did that. Now I'm just gonna add some vanilla, nutmeg, etc. So I'm gonna just do like a spoonful of the vanilla, vanilla extract. Is this vanilla? White vanilla extract. Mm, I love the smell of vanilla extract, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna do that. So I did the vanilla. I got my ground nutmeg. We'll be having like these packets. Put a little bit in here, a little pinch. All right. And then we got the cinnamon. I don't know who opened this. Yeah. Now who gonna open? This is why. Terrible. All right. Let me put some of this in here. And that porridge was popping up everywhere. Like, what are you doing? Messing up my shirt. But it's okay, y'all. 
hard work in the kitchen, it shows. Um, and I'm gonna do a little bit of salt, like a pinch. Like, you don't even need a lot of salt for real. Like, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, so now that that's all added, I'm gonna stir it up. Stir it all up. And now, we're gonna add the condensed milk. Y'all, this looks so good. I really, y'all, I'm so excited right now. So in the video, she added half of it and the sweeter you want it the more you add look at this chunk oh my god you see that it's gonna take a minute come on you're doing too much i'm just stirring it while i add it please come on because y'all to get so stir in a and stir and a and stir in a okay y'all so I'm gonna get back to y'all when, when I'm done making this porridge and I will plate up my food and give it a test try. Okay y'all, so I literally, ugh, I can't even speak no more. I'm so hot, I'm so tired, I'm so everything. So I literally just finished and it's like four o'clock in the afternoon. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm just not eating breakfast. But it's looking real good so let me show y'all so i got my little porridge right here you know it's looking real good and then i got my water crackers and my dumpling and i'm about to just do a taste test for y'all because um because yeah stupid phone i said phone stupid camera but um I already tasted everything. Everything tastes good, so I'ma just act like this is my first time tasting. So, um, ooh, let's try the porridge. So it's still hot, y'all. Hot, but it's so good. Oh, mm. it's good. It's good. And like, you know, you eat it with the crackers. You eat it with this. You eat it with that. Oh, that bug. Let me eat. The dumpling. The dumpling. Yeah. It's real good. It's real good. Alright, let me not be chewing on here. Okay guys, so I think it was a huge success. Um I did get a little discouraged at times, but you know, I fought through it and I just made this bomb meal at four o'clock in the afternoon. But it's still really good and I'll definitely do it again to get better at it and perfect this craft. Um, but that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you tune into my previous video. Oh my gosh. Make sure you tune into my previous videos and make sure you leave a big thumbs up down below and hit that subscribe button and don't be shy to leave a comment thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys in my next one <laughs>